Hey guys, how we doing? We are back playing some more Durango Wildlands. How are we going guys? Sorry it's been a little bit in between um, weeks getting another video out and things like that. Just had a whole lot of things on and hopefully you guys haven't missed me but we are going to jump back into it today and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to get a certain skill attribute up so that's going to be more or less farming today. And farming is one of those weird ones where... I mean, it's something that you do need to um, have, uh, I guess, in a skill set. And you definitely need to, you know, uh, if you really want to progress, um, farming is the way to go. Whether you're just going to farm, um, you know, certain items. And, and let's get sort of into it and have a look. Um, so, you know, whether you want to make yourself food um, things or if you want to improve uh, fertilization, all that sort of stuff. Or if you just want to basically... Uh, jump into you know farming your own things like um, like flax, tropical flax, as you can see here. And the other reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want to perfect uh, tailoring so I can craft better um, clothing and things like that. So things like that. If I have a really big um, farming field, that might help me further along. And especially if I can find higher level items, I don't need to travel to those. Um, higher level items, spend coins, things like that. So I'm just sort of looking at that as a prospect today. And I want to know what you guys think about that as well. So if you can let me know in the comments section down below, um, you know, would farming be a, um, a good option, especially if I'm into um, tailoring. So that's probably something I want to ask you guys today. So let me know in the comments uh, down below. Anyway, we're going to get into it. So the best way for me that I've found by the looks of things to increase your farming level is to uh, shovel mud and animal droppings, things like that to boost up your farming skills. As funny as it, as it may seem or sound, that's the best way to do it. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna craft a shovel first. And where is my wooden shovel? So we're going to craft one of these bad boys now. Just want to have a fresh one for this so I don't have to worry about it being broken, things like that. So hopefully the skill attribute is uh, good enough. Because I know you need a certain level and I believe that's in the higher levels, but we'll see how we go. I've already found the pit up there, so we're basically just going to um, make our way over. And hopefully we will... Um, you know, just start harvesting. So it's going to be one of those videos today. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Something a little bit different more than doing your standard um, exploration and things like that. You guys sort of liked that at the beginning. Sort of dropped off a little bit, which is fine. So I'm going to try something a little bit different to see if you guys are, you know, interested in just general farming. You know, not, you know, farming per se, but gathering resources or certain resources, things like that. So that's what I'm sort of looking at more more so and I might be able to cut across save a bit of time and we should be able to get over to the other end here not a problem much easier when you've got a dinosaur or a tame dinosaur all right let's get ourselves around this way and let's head straight up okay if I can cut any further corners I will absolutely so I'm going to sort of navigate around this way um, let's have a look. Hopefully, if I get lucky, I'm just not going to go into a, <laughs> an ocean. No, that's fine. Okay, so, back on the road again. Oh, okay. Alright, so, probably not the best way of, d of doing this, but... Oh, well, what do you do? We're just going to stick to the mainland that I sort of already uh, had discovered beforehand. So, is what it is. And we shouldn't be too far off anyway. Actually, I'm just going to go around this way. Okay. We'll keep moving up. I think we're nearly... Yeah, we're nearly there anyway. Anyway, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Durango videos or any other videos that I'm playing um, or games that I'm currently playing at the moment. Uh, be sure to like the video if you are enjoying it and comment. 
let me know how I'm doing. Also, if you guys want to ask any questions, I'll try and help as much as I can. Okay. Oops. There we go. So right now, uh, oh, okay. I can only use the metal shovel. Well, that's a pain. So let's quickly jump into my inventory. I'll say I'm already up to level 17, which is good. Where's my metal shovel? That's level 43. Okay. All right. So if I were to transfer that to my Raptor, I'm just interested to see, um, no, I don't want to equip it. I want that equipped. Can I, yep, transfer to, no, I cannot. Okay. So I guess I'm not going to find if I'm going to be able to do this. Um, well, well, what am I saying? Of course I can do this. I wanted to know specifically, can I use or what do I need to use to uh, just grab mud without having to use my locked item, which is rather annoying. I don't know if you guys can actually change that attribute. If you guys can let me know in the comments, all these locked items that you get, is there a way to, I don't know, necessary unlock them? Can that be done? I don't know. I've always just, you know, kept on tapping. It's, you know, convenience wise, it's obviously not there, but I'm guessing it's only the fact that these mud items are level 35 and at best at the moment I can only craft up to level 24 I think it was so probably yeah it's probably the reason why unfortunately so it is what it is you guys are just gonna have to see that for a little while now so whilst I continue to do as much uh, harvesting as possible I can try and boost up my level Hopefully increase my player level as well, and that's what I'm really, really wanting to ha um, uh, get as well, because I've sort of hit a bit of a roadblock at the moment, especially with the tailoring skills. I think I've maxed it out now to a point where I need to increase my level for that to catch back up. So I guess doing it this way might be a good way of doing it. And I'm just sort of having a bit of a peek. It looks like it's only about 0.2 of a... Um, of a percent that my experience bar is increasing i'm just sort of watching that now yeah it's about 0.2 so not the greatest um experience boost but the more that you do it naturally it's just gonna um get yourselves to another level i mean depending on where you guys are level wise as well so it all becomes relative with that in mind but what i'm doing today is just increasing my farming level so, okay, so right now, I may as well stop because there is research available now. So I'm not going to be able to progress to the next step, which is probably kind of annoying because I've actually dropped that. So maybe for the sake of doing that, I may as well just do that, which is only five minutes. Probably shouldn't be wasting the warp gems, but for the sake of the video, guys, for you guys, happy to do it and at least sort of continue on and yeah just keep on farming along so i think at the time of this recording there was a exp uh weekend so for the amount of downloads that uh nexon have had made for durango for the amount of people that are, are currently playing so good on them for uh churning out a, a reasonably good game for a lot of people to you know play it's a very high quality game as you guys would would be well aware of it's not one of those basic games or anything like that but oops so at least you guys get in time to you know uh, ah, of course so i'm gonna have to start feeding my player some food just to get some health back into himself some stamina uh, let's go back into that. I think I've got the orange, actually. The orange is pretty good for uh, stamina regeneration. If I can... Yep, there we go. And I'd rather use the items that are, you know, pretty much broken kind of thing. I don't want to necessarily use these guys predominantly. I mean, you can, but you're going to waste them. And I don't know, it's probably something that I really don't want to do. 
So we'll just continue to heal up. Oops, still full. Oops, no, 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 no. Let's go back into that. Okay, so, all right, so about five seconds and then I can keep on eating. So there should be four, three. All right, let's try now. There we go, perfect. You know what, I think that'll be enough for now. Let's just continue on. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, my farming level has increased dramatically. So already on level 22, which is amazing. But that goes with anything else as well. So as soon as you start uh, doing certain things on a high level, naturally the experience is just going to go through the roof just in that certain skill set. Not so much your actual your player skill um, experience, but as you can see, the little farming skill bar there, which is um, opening it up quite considerably. And especially, you know, if you guys want to start investing your points as well into farming, it's probably the best way to do it for now until you know, you've got to a point where you can actually start um, farming uh, certain things. So, you know, wh whether it was the potatoes or any other, um, you know, seedlings that you could use. But obviously, if you can find them, of course, out in the wild, or if you decide that you really want to buy them uh, in the shop in the island market, that would be another way of doing it. But obviously, that's at the expense of, uh, sorry, the expense of coins, if you guys want to go down that pathway should be able to do the animal dropping as well and this should get the xp for farming which it does so yeah good thing that no one's bothering me at the moment dinosaur wise which is really, which is a really good thing it's kind of hoping that i could level up as well today but um level 24 so level 24 for farming just gonna let him grab the last of this and we'll check out what has become available now so and as you can see range weapons is only skill level one if i start uh, crafting bow and arrows and things like that crossbows whatever it might be um and then start using it that's obviously you're just going to shoot right through the roof as well in terms of experience wise but let's see what that what that has unlocked so far so we're above level 20 so right now we've got, we're up to basic medicine. We can do bleach if I start investing in the prior attributes here. I haven't got, I've only got two skill points. So there's only going to be so much that I can do. So I've got chopped meat, uh, animal feed. So that'd be for our, um, uh, for our dinosaurs here, our tame ones. Uh, boiling, boiling might be something that I might need to look into. Preservation. Okay, so preservation might be a big one as well and then i think that's it for now until i start getting a higher level so yeah that's all going to come in time i guess because there's only so much that yeah you can only do the preservation thing will probably be a big one especially that you don't need to um you know uh start eating food more uh sooner than rather later basically and that's at the expense of, you know, losing certain attributes and buffs and things like that. So, yeah, you've got to be really, really careful. Um, and then you've got to sort of make a point that, okay, you've got to sort of eat certain things sooner rather than later, as you saw beforehand. In my bag here, a lot of these things are on the broken side, which meaning that they're, in this case, they'll be either decaying. So I may not get the, the maximum attribute for that item if it was fresh. It's basically, you know, um, how it is. So we started on level, sorry, at 70% in terms of um, EXP wise. So nearly at um, 80%. And hopefully we get on to another level soon enough. But we are at level 25 in farming, which is great. I'm... Oop, okay, well, we may as well just take this guy out. Let's just do that. Oop. Come on, bud. Oop. Go. There we go. Okay, stop annoying me. <laughs> Considering that's the only dinosaur that's hassled me right now, that's totally fine. Anyway, 
I think you guys get the idea. I'm not going to keep playing and just showing you guys farming or, you know, digging up mud. I mean, I don't think I'm going to actually keep all of this, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go to my auto sort here. And yeah, I mean, I've got quite a, quite a bit of dirt here at the moment. So, um, okay. So I might just dump a lot of this and I love this feature. You just sort of drag your, your finger around and, whoop, and you can basically either transfer it or in my case, I'm just going to discard and dump and I'll probably just leave some here for me anyway for now. And we'll see how we go with all that when I take it back home. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, thought I'd just take you out for a little bit and just show you what I'm what I was sort of doing getting up to and hopefully you guys appreciate it yeah just a little bit of level up and you know hopefully it sort of helped you guys out as well if you guys are struggling with farming and things like that um, the best way that I know of that I've been told and I've read up on so if there's anything better or if you think there's something more that's more beneficial that I should be focusing on if I want to level up in this space here then yeah drop it in the comments down below let me know but otherwise, uh, I'm going to leave it here today. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Take it easy and we will catch you next time.